Welcome to the Common 17 Camera Story. To design a fantasy phone for the future, what will it look like? A fantasy phone for the future. Well, for me, um, as a filmmaker, first of all, I would like to imagine having a phone that can do all the basic things, you know, like texting, messaging, browsing, uh, you know, social media. But beyond that, for me as a filmmaker, well, I would like a phone that will not only shoot 4K, but allows you to edit the 4K on the go. I do documentaries sometimes, I side feature films. If I want to travel and I want to capture a lot of scenery in different areas, I want a phone that will allow me, um, you know, edit on the go. But besides, it's less bulky, very small. I put it in my pocket, bring it out, shoot, edit, and send. A fantasy phone for the future. This phone with super AI goes straight into my psyche, pick up the idea that I'm visualizing, and I say snap, boom, brings out the picture. Just kidding. You know, my ideal phone camera is a camera with super sharp resolution, colors clear, just like a professional camera where you can't tell the difference, and it should be able to do this even in low light. question is, is there such a phone? Stay tuned to find out. Quality camera contents have been necessary for years. And six years ago, Techno introduced the Camon series into the African market with the introduction of Techno Camon C8. Since then, content creators in Nigeria have been asking for more. And between 2015 till date, there has been varieties of the Common series with their various camera-centric natures. But the human need for the Common excellence keeps increasing and the arrival of the Common 17 meets these needs because it's time to stand out. There's always the need for me to take the before and after pictures of my clients or models just for future references. For me, the most important thing is lighting. Lighting plays a huge role in trying to capture the clearest selfie. To get the makeup to look beautiful, you need colors, you need the, the eyeshadow must pop, the eyeliner must be crispy clean, the lipstick must look vibrant. And this special one with the clearest selfie in the world makes my pictures stand out like never before. One can tell from the BB on C testimonial that everybody has a selfie story. Now, let's take a look at the rise of the selfie. Everywhere we look, everything looks perfect. 
Selfies have come so far. The first person who ever took a selfie was a guy called Robert Cornelius. They're changing the way we communicate. The camera was designed to be pointed at the world, not back at the photographer. We feel the need to maintain the likes and follows. You can begin to see how that can really run away with your mental health. When I started doing selfies, admittedly, it was a vanity thing for me. Are they fueled by narcissism or actually misunderstood? More and more people are using the selfie as a means of empowerment. A facial expression says so much more than a sentence. This is real life and this is what happens in those most vulnerable moments. There's a lot more realness going on now, which is really important. We kind of refuse to believe that culture changes. This is the rise of the selfie. What makes Kunle Afolayan stand out as an award-winning movie director? Here it is. I love this. Yeah, it's the Techno Cam on 17. What makes me stand out as a film and video um, director is the fact that I'm very consistent and I believe in my craft. I've been very uh, consistent in merging creativity with substance. That is what works for me. An interesting and amazing masterpiece. You want to give it a shot? Yeah, sure. All right, cut. just like that we have come to the end of cam mission x camp here in lagos um, at the african artist foundation which is where we had the press conference to unveil the three finalists that was the intention in the end because of just how closely all the contestants scored there was a tie so we ended up with four finalists and they were very very well deserving of all the points that they got so four of these young contestants will have the opportunity to go to Europe, which is a very, very big deal. They unlocked the power of the Canon 12 Pro and they unlocked the power of their own creativity within themselves. And of course, that's what it was all about at the end of the day. So again, a big shout out to uh, Techno Cameron 12 Pro for making this possible for these young Nigerians. To the African Artist Foundation, I'm Folu Storms, signing out of Cam Mission X Camp for now. Goodbye. You don't have to be a professional content creator to experience magic with the Kamen. It comes with a feeling. Two years ago, Techno brought together 24 talented young Nigerians to unlock the camera using the Kamen 12 in what is considered as the first photography reality show in Nigeria. And four outstanding individuals emerged winners with their dexterity with the Kamen and were taken on a tour of Europe. If you missed that, Commission 2 is coming. Watch out! The techno brand keeps expanding its horizon and the newest addition to the family as Techno Global Ambassador has got this message for us. Hello everyone, wishing you a happy and healthy year ahead. Let's continue to capture amazing moments in 2021. It's time to stand out. That's it from our brand ambassador. Now on Limited LA, can't help but feel impressed with the video quality of the Common 70. He's feeling and loving it. <laughs> if I have to relate this to my field as a music video director and cinematographer, uh, I prefer a phone that can at least shoot 4K, you know, with great depth of field. Because with that, I'll be able to do lots of things. 4K and great depth of field. From the moment Kunle said it's the future, 
I've been so eager to discover the strengths and the video abilities. And observing it firsthand, I can tell you guys for free that it's here to stay. Kilichi Amadiobi also has a standout story to tell. What makes me stand out as a photographer is basically I dare to be myself, I dare to tell my own story through the lens. And so for me, it's being able to try things that are uniquely me. And once I do that, my work starts to, you know, separate itself um, from the rest. Same Camon 17. Ah, my brother, yes. So this camera has the most amazing lens options and the low light mode. Awesome. Whoa, the color rendition and accuracy of this camera is amazing. I will certainly be using more of this. Camon 17 does it for me. For Yolanda Okereke, her body of work says it all. What makes me stand out as a fashion designer? I dig deeper. I try to create and find the backstory of the client, the model or the actor. It helps me understand their style projection and where I need to come from, what their comfort zone is, how much I can push them and how best they can possibly look in front of the camera. Techno Camon 17. Techno Camon 17. The phone with the clearest selfie in the world. It's here. Camon 17, it's time to stand out. So today we are going to be unboxing the Techno Mobile Camon 17 Pro. Now for those of you unfamiliar with the brand, it's a smartphone manufacturer that's pretty big in places like Southeast Asia, India and Africa. And I have a feeling it's a brand you're going to be hearing a lot more of in the not too distant future.
So before I dive into the blue and white box, let me just give you a quick breakdown of what you can expect from Techno Mobile's new phone. This thing's packed with features to take advantage of taking a good selfie. So we've got a 6.8 inch 1080 by 2460 full HD display. So it's gonna be plenty sharp with lots of detail. It's also got a 90 Hertz refresh rate. So everything's gonna be smooth when it comes to animation, usability, games, and things like that. It's also fully loaded with Android 11. So you're getting the latest Android operating system. Under the hood, when it comes to the engine, you've got the Helio G85. So this thing is gonna be plenty powerful and it's gonna be able to handle pretty much anything you throw at it. When it comes to the battery, you're looking at 5,000 milliamps. So this thing is definitely gonna last until the end of the day. When it comes to storage, you're looking at 256 gigs, so plenty of room for all your photos, videos, and music. There's also eight gig of RAM as well. So this thing's gonna be nice and smooth. So ultimately what you're looking at here is a mid-range smartphone with a few features that you might find on smartphones with a higher price tag. So the first thing you notice when taking it out of the box is that it feels like a premium device. It's nice and slim. I think it will be perfect for one-handed use. And the curved edges just really complement this stylish design. If you flip it around back, you'll notice this gorgeous pearlescent blue design. And not only is it pretty, but you'll notice it's not a fingerprint magnet as well, which I think is very, very important in a modern day smartphone. And um, Camon's also clearly put its stamp on the device on the bottom left-hand corner. You may or may not to be a fan of that, but I think it's quite pretty. You'll also notice this quad camera array here. It's quite nice to see a different design from Camon actually, because in the past we've seen a square camera array sitting in the back. We've seen pop-up cameras as well. So what we've got now is a more slimline, unobtrusive design that doesn't protrude too much out the back of the phone. So it's really quite nice and discreet. Along the side, you've got your fingerprint scanner, which also doubles up as your power button. Now you'll notice that my thumb rests quite naturally on that fingerprint sensor, so that's really nicely positioned. Just above that you've got volume buttons, and they've got little ridges on them, so they're nice and tactile, which means they'll be nice and easy to find and locate, so they don't sit too flush with the phone, which I think is a nice design feature. It's also got a headphone jack. Now, one of the biggest bugbears of modern day smartphones when it comes to users is the removal of the headphone jack. So it's nice to know that's there if you're still into using wired headphones. And um, when it comes to charging, you've got USB-C. So let's turn it on and fire it up. Powered by Android, as we know. Okay, now setting up, the setup process is quite easy. And if you're not familiar with the Android setup, it will show you what to do and essentially hold your hand through the process. It's all pretty straightforward. Set up your Wi-Fi, agree to the terms of use, of course. You can turn on location features. You don't have to do all this at the setup. You can come back and do all this kind of thing later. And here you can set up your face unlock, your fingerprint scanner, that kind of thing. And then you're good to go. Okay, so now we're in, I just want to show you the 90 hertz refresh rate. So if I scroll through this, for example, can you see how fluid the animation is? There's no lag. And that's because of the high refresh rate of the screen. And what you'll notice as well, those of you who are familiar with Android, is that Techno Mobile have put their own high OS 7.6 skin onto the operating system. So there's a few extra features for you to play around with courtesy of Techno Mobile. So when it comes to the camera, you're looking at 48 megapixels, which is complemented quite nicely with telephoto and wide angle lenses to suit all shooting conditions. The Camon 17 Pro also features something called magic pixel mode. So it ups the pixel count to 108 megapixels for gorgeous landscape photography. You can also shoot in HDR. So flick this on when you want to add more detail to shadows and highlights. And when it comes to shooting after dark, it's super night mode. It should take pretty decent pictures when the lights go low. And as for the app itself, there are a lot of really fun features to sink your teeth into and just have a bit of fun with. So let me fire up the camera app, take a picture and show you what I'm talking about. Now the first thing I noticed when firing up the camera is that its AI cam mode immediately kicked in. Now what this does is automatically recognise your surroundings and optimises the settings accordingly. So great if you're not a pro shooter and you're just someone who wants to pick up your smartphone and point and shoot. Other options include beauty mode and portrait, so adding that depth of field effect to your photos is an option if you want it. Um, but when you've taken your photo, there are lots of editing options and that is what I want to show you right now. So let's take a look at the picture that I just shot. Tom looking lovely there on camera. So as you can see, I've got lots of filters, lots of options to apply a filter to your photos. 
That's pretty standard fare in smartphones these days, but it's nice to have it there on the phone and not accessible via an app. Got editing options, pretty standard, you know, crop and rotate. You can add text, watermark, frame, and the bokeh effect. But the adjust option, now this is where you really tweak your photos. So you can adjust the color, saturation, clarity, things like that. But I think the really important thing to hammer home here is just how easy it is to use. So when you pick each option, you simply swipe to the left or right to adjust your image. And it really is as simple as that. And when it comes to taking those all-important selfies, you've got an unobtrusive pinhole camera sitting at the top of the display. Now, what I've noticed is, like we've seen on the back camera, AI intelligence kicks in to automatically optimize your shooting settings so you can take the perfect selfie. And of course, you've got all those editing options to take advantage of as well. Now, when it comes to video, there's some real fun to be had, starting with AR shots. So this is basically an augmented reality emoji that you can create in your likeness. And then once you hold the camera, it then superimposes that animation onto your face. You can have a bit of fun with it, play around a bit, send to your mates, share on social media. Techno Mobile says this is the most advanced version of the software yet. So it's able to mimic your facial features quite well, as you can see. And it's just a great way to just have a bit of fun on your smartphone. It also shoots time-lapse in 2K and 4K. There's night vision mode like we've seen on the back, so this thing should take great pictures in low light. You can also apply the Boca effect onto your photos as well, you know, the portrait mode that we've all come to know and love to apply that depth of field effect onto your photos. But for me, the real fun is in the short video option. So here you can, you can shoot 15 second videos, you can apply all kinds of different effects, some of which have music, some don't. It's is a really fun way to get creative with your videos and again share with your mates or upload to social media. And finally, the last feature I want to tell you about is privacy and security. So like I mentioned earlier, the fingerprint scanner is perfect for keeping your phone safe and secure. But there's a new feature that I've been told will be coming to the final consumer unit, and that's something called privacy film. So what this means is when you're looking straight on at your phone, anyone trying to be nosy looking in from either your left or right will see nothing but a dark screen. So everything you're looking at is private, safe, and secure. And there you have it, the Techno Mobile Camon 17 Pro. Check out some of these Camon 17 standout pictures and videos taken by selected content creators from Lagos, Nigeria.